God has prepared for you, that glorious future that God showed me many, many years ago about you, peace, shall come to pass over your life in the name of Jesus. Honestly, Baba, I am tired. I have made several attempts to have sex with her, but she kept on saying that she has promised God and her mom never to have sex with anyone until she gets married. Ajayi, hope you remember that you dare not force her. Hey, Ajayi, you dare not force her. I know. I know, Baba. This is not the first time you'll be telling me this. But why? Why can't you help me consult the oracles? Why can't you help me tell the oracles to find another girl for me? Or is she the only one I can use her glory? Ajayi, if I tell you that there is another lady that I can use for you, it's going to be nothing but deceit. Because this lady, she has a glory that fits in with yours. In fact, she has a glorious future that she herself is not aware of. Hmm. Hmm. Ajayi. Ajayi. You that waited for almost one year just to have sex with her. So why can't you wait for the remaining three months of your wedding night hmm. and do whatsoever you want to do with her? <laughs> hey. And remember that you dare not force her. If you force her, hey, jigbe, 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 jigbe. Oh, send you see what you are cool. Abama Nimbe and Yoro. Oh, Buburu, I'm a jalo Buburu. Oh, Buburu, I'm a jalo Buburu. Ah! Honestly, Baba, I can't wait to get out of this mess. I can't wait to get out of this bondage I've put myself. Imagine me, myself, Ajayo Gideolu, Omar Feitifa. I now turn myself to one useless Michael. I turn myself to one useless born again Christian in the presence of that useless mom. Ajayo. Ajayi. And your bad young boy, your tear could bang boy. That is the third time I'll be having that revelation about Michael. And each time I saw him in that revelation, he was always trying to kill you and asking me that same question. Michael looks like a Christian. He talks like a Christian. He behaves like a Christian. But often now, I have not had any assurance in my spirit ever since you introduced him to me. I'm tired of your suspicious attitude ever since I introduced my kids. Michael is a fourth person I will be introducing to you. And all you keep saying is there are no gospel for you. There are no gospel for you. No me. No me. At 34 years old, am I not old enough to know what I want for myself? I have begged God. I begged God to sanctify any relationship I enter. And He should give me the grace to enjoy any man I marry. And God. The faithful God has answered my prayers. Solid foundation. Yes! Solid foundation. That is the problem I have with you. And the Bible says, if the foundation is faulty, what can the builders do? How can you call yourself a Christian? And just because you have uh, a little problem, you don't want to do the will of God. You know that Michael is not God's will for you. But you want to go ahead with the relationship. How can you say you are born again 
and you are not ready to do the will of God. Eh? Peace. Have you forgotten that it was after Abraham had waited patiently that he obtained the promise? In the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 18, the Bible says, Abraham against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. Oh my God. Mommy! That was Abraham, mommy, for God's sake. That was Abraham. I am peace, Adebayo. God gave Abraham a lot of grace to endure. God gave him enough grace to endure. I have not been given that grace, mommy. I have prayed about Mother Michael. Mommy, I have prayed about Mother And God has not given me any contrary opinion. And mommy, come August 25, in three months' time, I will be getting married to Brother Michael, whether you or your family members want it or not. That family members are there for me. Sit down. Sit down. alone knows the thought he has for you. The thought of good and not of evil. The thought to give you an expected end. Ha! Huh. Please. There is a glorious future for you. The Lord showed your dad and I before he passed on to glory this glorious future. I don't want you to miss it. My prayer for the past eight months has been that you will not miss God's plan and cancel over your life in Jesus' name. I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. I don't know. What I know is that come August 25, I and Brother Michael Halle will be getting married. This is a good fight. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Victory is sure. This is a good fight. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Victory is sure. Oh, Daddy. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So, my brother, once again, we appreciate your coming. We hope to see more of you. And I pray that the blessings that you have received today shall be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. My dear, I hope there is no problem. I notice a change immediately you enter the car. Hey! Will you keep quiet? Ah. Do you do what do you what do you take me for? Cut this pretense. Ah. Eh? You, 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 you think I'm a fool? You think I don't know what I'm doing? Eh? Why is it that today that I came to your church is that, that your pastor started preaching about bribery and corruption? If not that he knew that I'm a police officer ah. and that I must be collecting bribe. Who in that your God forsaking church does not know that I'm a police officer? Eh? It's okay. It's all right. My dear, but you know I couldn't have done that. Our Jew and his wife are correct servants of God. They don't just preach. They only preach what God asked them to. Ha! Huh? Will you keep quiet? Will you shut your mouth? Huh? What, what, what do you take me for? Will you shut your mouth? Look at woman! Huh? You, 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 the only thing you know is to carry Bible all around. It's alright. I know what you do. I know how to deal with people like you. I didn't say anything. Hebrews 6, 11 to 12. Rebecca showed the same diligence 
to the full assurance of hope to the end, that I do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Lord Jesus, please let this picture that you have been using to assure me since I gave my life to you 19 years ago, be fulfilled in my life. And thank you for counting me worthy to suffer for your cause. This is a good fight, don't give up. Keep holding on, victory is sure. This is a good fight, don't give up. Keep holding on, victory is sure. We came back from church that day. He picked few of his things and said he was traveling to Abuja. He has been so good, you know. After all, he encountered my two children and they are now on fire for the Lord. He also encountered some workers in the church that are not born again, but they are just zealous. Also, peace. The Lord they encountered her and, and what? And peace has backslided now. What do you say about somebody who knows the will of God? Who knows she still has to wait on God? For a good husband, but she has made up her mind to go and marry an unbeliever. Peace knows it is not the will of God for her to marry Michael. But she's bent on marrying him. An unbeliever. Marry an unbeliever. No way. Peace can never marry an unbeliever. Have we forgotten the promises of God concerning her? It's time we pray on her case. My dear sister, this is a good fight. How we have both made up her mind to put on the old armor of God. That we may stand against all words of the devil. We stand. Having guided our waist with truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Faith with preparation of the gospel of peace. The shield of faith. Element of salvation. The word of God. And pray with all manner of prayer and supplication in the spirit. This is our own part of the fight in the battle. And we must do it with all diligence and determination. Then, we we'll wait patiently for him to do his part. I know. I'm only concerned about the timeline. Everything is happening so fast. My husband's family has faced the family introduction for this weekend. This weekend? The wedding is in two months time. Ah. She doesn't seem to understand the glorious future that the Lord has shown me. Each time I spoke to her about God's plan and a beautiful future, she keeps insisting that she has prayed. But this has been my major prayer point everywhere. At weekly meetings, women programs, night vigils, monthly meetings in the last one year. Esther, it doesn't look as if God is hearing me. Is God hearing me at all? Ah, does He care? Is He listening to me? 
Yes, sir. I am praying in the will of the Lord that my daughter should not marry an unbeliever. It's the will of God. Why? Why has it not a reason to answer my prayers? My dear sister, please don't talk like this. God cares for us, and each time we pray, He hears us. Don't let us allow the devil to cheat us. The time we're using to complain, let us use it to pray. And we will see God in action. The Bible says, Now, unto him that is able to do, abundantly, exceedingly, above that which we think or ask. Let's begin to pray. That God can say concerning the This life is of a God. good fight. Don't Let's give up. Keep holding on. Victory short. Sure. This is a good fight. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Victory short. Honestly, I'm sure of what I'm saying. I have never seen a business that yields 120% profit like this business. The, the, the thing is that you just need to put your mind at rest and trust what you will get after three months. Ah, uh -uh, my dear. Don't you trust my brother anymore? Ah. Uh -uh. At least I've told you several examples of people who invested hugely in this business yeah. and they made great profits. Besides, one of our uncles who is in the USA, this was the business he invested in before he traveled out three years ago. Mm. My dear, if you see Uncle Tony now, hey, if you see Uncle Tony now, he is a multi billionaire. Brother, tell him now. See, Uncle, I know. I know. I trust the two both of you. But you see, the issue is that uh, the 50 million naira that I invested in the business, I was actually known from the bank. Mm -hmm. And you know, they will be deducting huge amounts of money from my salary every month. Mm -hmm. And if that business does not yield in three months, like you said and promised, it's going to be a lot of problem. It's going to affect my baby girl and my lovely son. You know, and I don't want you to suffer for anything again. That's right. And I don't want my son to suffer too. There is no You have nothing to worry about. It will yield the, the desired result. It's alright. I love you, my dear. I love you too. Yes, I um, I need to take my And then ah. So my hero. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Always see her working. She's very hard working. Yeah, yes. She, she impresses me. Well, she's only doing her job. Oh, no, That's no. why she's been paid. No, 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 no. I don't believe because you know she could decide not to do it. She's just the wife of the gate. Uh, I think she just has the custody of being hard working. I will need to appreciate her. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Ah, Thank you. you. Thank you,
got plenty money. Plenty, plenty money. <laughs> you know, the 50 million naira that I invested in that business. I don't want it to go down the drain. Because if it does not yield after three months, like you said, you know, my salary. That man is a See, my angel, this is the best so far. Exactly, this is the oh, biggest. God. My angel, you see, I can't wait for these two months to be over. And we get out of here, the U.S. with our son. <laughs> ah. Something even came up. Something I thought of something. You mm. know. What is that? Since we have the money, yeah, this money is in our disposal. Yeah. Why can't we just take our child and get out of this country instead of waiting? You know, mm. the, waiting for that girl. And what's the point of the wedding? You have, you have thought so well. You have really, you have really thought on what I've been thinking about. But you know what? Baba said that I need to sleep with that silly girl. He said I need her glory. So as to seal up all our investments. All our hard earned investments. The only challenge I have here is that I cannot force her. And I can't use another girl for this. Ah, I just need you to pray for me. That she will just, she will just agree she that I sleep with her. She must have and we get out of here. Shocked. I understand. Yeah. But don't worry. It's, isn't it too much? Mm. Two months is just at the doorstep. Mm. Easy already. Mm. But the most important thing now is that mm. we've got plenty money. money. <laughs> we got plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty money. Ah. Sweet off again. Ah. This man has sweet off again. Oh God. What is happening to me now? What is happening to me? Oh God. And you know that I've been praying unto you for the conversion of my husband for the past 19 years. Eh? My joy knew no band when he followed me to the church that day. Why was it that day? That the day my husband went to the church. Was the same day pastor preached on bribery and corruption. Eh? And now the man has gone out of the house. Since that time I've not seen him. Father, you must help me. You just must help me because it's getting too much. The battle is getting too fierce for me. You have to come in into my situation. You must help me concerning this matter. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I even crying? Is that going to bring a solution to my matter? But the battle is becoming too fierce. God, I'm just tired. That is the truth. I'm tired. Though my husband is hostile and wicked, but at least he has not been leaving the house like this. Ah, God, you have to come in into this matter. You just must help me. Ah, I cannot cope with this, Lord. You just have to help me. Go, 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 Hmm. Ah! 
Toi, c'est bye. Eh, Ajayi. Where on one day? On one in Meji. On one is Ogbe. Ogbe is on one. A different Oga. Lord, you talk about the Julia on the basis of salary. On my own, Oga. Oga ni ho. Only Oga on my last salary. Oga ni ya. Big bag belo se yini. Big bag bi oba se yini. E yiba mupe aswa laso. Bye le mi oga dabola. Ajayi, we are my hotel. We buy. Loni, loni, mo donwani. Loni, mo donwani. Hmm, ba unko. Foru koresi. Loni, mo donwani. Loni, e mi ajayi, o ma feni ti fa donwani. I wo dar ko mo biniu. I wo pisi, o ma beke, o ti dobe. I wo ti dobe. I wo dobe. Ma bon folon. I wo be. Moni ma fon folon. Ni wè ba ti wò bisi. To ba ti lè ba. Ke mi a ti e. Ka fò ya lù ya bi yò kò la ya. Ni wè ba ti o ba ti ba. Ti o si fi nò fi dò. Pe ke mi a ti i wò. Ki a fò ya lù ya. Ke ge bi yò kò a ti a ya. Bò bò to da ni nò a gò a rà rè. Go bonto dara. Ni igbe si a ye re. To fin jenyo. A ti go 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 to mu bon atol. A ti go go go. To mu wala ti oru. Ko di te mi. Ko a foun kolesi. Ko di te mi a jayi. E mi a jayi. O ma fe nyi ti fa. A se ou. Hmm. Et toi, tu te tenais. Je suis papa. Hein, souvent, hey. Coco, coco, la renfa dit ti. Ajayi, are you very sure that you will be able to have sexual intercourse with her within 24 hours? Hmm. I pray so, papa. Pray? Yes. Because I have made all necessary preparations to make it possible. For example, I will be going to my twin sister's place with her today. And I have put some things on our way to cause some delay. Definitely, this will make us to sleep together. Because my twin sister's place is just a room self-contained. Yes. Yes, it will be possible. Okay. But in case it doesn't work the way it is planned, Ajayi, hmm. we have to return back here within 24 hours. Or else, hey! Or else, we will run mad. And nobody, I mean, no abalist in this world will be able to cure it. Hmm. Never! That can never happen to me. Emiya Chayo Gidiolu, ha! It will work out as you have planned, Baba. Oh yes, I'm ready. Oh. How do I look? You look beautiful. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Can we go? Yeah. Mommy, you're going. Okay, that's all right. <sighs> Ah, Daddy, good afternoon, sir. Mommy, peace. How are you, ma? Yes, just like I told you yesterday. Please, be calm about everything. Yes, I know that the introduction is in three days' time. But, like I told you, Jesus is in control. All right? Please, be calm. Well, lest I forget, please tell peace that I would like to see her today. Ah, <laughs> she had just gone out with the man. Well, I will, I will call her and give her your message. When exactly do you want her to come, sir? Between 5 and 6 in the evening. It's alright, sir. My regards to mommy. Thank you, sir. Alright. Thank you. 
Bye. Thank you. Mm. Who is this? Who is surprising me? He's surprising us. Mm. <laughs> There's something I want to tell you. Yeah. That woman that wants to go for us, the kid truck. Mm. I don't understand. I don't know what she's doing here. Mm -hmm. She won't believe she called me yesterday. You don't need to. But she was requesting for more money. Do you know that that same woman called me yesterday? <laughs> for what now? See, that woman is crazy. Yes, he's crazy. No, no, he's a crazy no, woman. No, no. How can she be behaving like that? My dear, a Christian does not talk like that. You shouldn't use that kind of language. She's not crazy. Sorry. My dear, I don't like it. You have to ask God to have mercy on you. God will help you. Amen. God will help us. I also think that we should pray about it because I don't know. She's demanding for money every day. And my uncle said she's the one that can cook it all. She's the one we should give it. And you know, I just feel that we should just pray about it. Is it everything we need to pray about? This particular matter requires that we take definite and cogent action. My dear, we have to pray about everything. What happened? Go to the car. I don't see. Just know. And this car has never malfunctioned like this before. Yeah? And everything is alright. I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm just trying to I lay my hand on one or two things to open. So as to maybe look for the solution. Tell me that song that you learnt in school. 30 days in school. Yes. But there's no other way. To be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. To be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. Ah, welcome. Yes, How are you? Fine. How are you? You want to use your soul? Okay, you can go. Mommy, how are you now? I'm fine, no, oh, thank you. Hey, Mommy, are you sure Daddy will travel to Abuja? Ah, uh, yes. All the DPOs have meeting with um, Inspector General of Police. Mommy, but I saw Daddy around um, Jerry's roundabout with a lady about. Um, and I go. Who? Eh? You saw your daddy? A Jarry's roundabout? Yes, mommy. Uh uh. Are you sure it was the one you saw? Or oh, did he see you? Mommy, he saw me. He just looked away and pretended as if he didn't see me. Hmm. Ah, it is well. Ah, daddy Esther. With a lady. Mommy, sincerely, Daddy really needs, he needs serious prayers. Serious prayers. Intercessory and fervent prayers on him. The devil must not take advantage of Daddy or Mommy. And Jerry's round about someone that left this house to tell us that he had a meeting in Abuja. Huh. Oh God, oh God, 
Oh God, what to pity me? What do I need to me? God, what have you been doing? Mommy, you are still thinking about this matter. No, this is. Mommy, this is, this is, I'm really, really surprised. What has happened? Mommy, stop. Stop this now. Stop this. You are always the one encouraging us to pray. And you are, you are crying. With some other woman. You, you just need to pray. We need to pray. Our prayers are, is not enough. We just need to pray. Mommy. <sighs> Mommy, why are you worrying? When you can pray. We need to pray, mommy. Mommy, have you forgotten that we have the word of God that is full of God's promises as our weapon? Mommy, stop crying. Stop it. Oh, God. Mommy, <laughs> please stop crying. Mommy, stop it. Mommy, have you forgotten what you used to mm. tell me and Ellen? That um, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Mm. It has not even entered the hearts of men. What God has in stock for our family, mommy? Ah, mommy, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really discouraged. Sincerely, ah, I didn't expect this from you, mommy. No, 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 mommy, stop crying. Stop. The thoughts that God has for us are of good and of and not of evil to bring us to a glorious future. Mommy, daddy has a glorious future. Yes. Mommy, stop crying. Stop it now. Mommy, stop. I don't like this. Mommy, stop. Stop. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to do this. Mommy, stop. Can you describe exactly where you are so I can get a cab to come and pick you? Don't worry, we'll be fine. We are trying to fix it already. So I will call you whenever we take any decision. No, 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 please, please. Let me get a cab to come and pick you. It's getting late. In fact, it's already late. Hello? Hello? Peace. Hello? My dear, what are we going to do now? It's getting late. Well, you know. Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen The scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go It's obvious now that I can't fix this car myself. A mechanic will need to come and fix it. Um, we'll try and trek so as to get a cab or a taxi that will take us away from here. But peradventure, we do not get a taxi or a cab. We will need to look for a nearby hotel and sleep. Hotel? Yes, because none of our houses are close by. No. That is not happening. My mom was not even here about it. Ah, hey, Lord. Lord Jesus, what kind of a journey is this? What kind of a journey is this? Stop shouting. Hey, Jesus. I'm here for you. It's my girl. Wait, wait, don't shout. Ah. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to us. See, we cannot, we cannot continue staying here. We cannot sleep in the bush. Please, let's go. Oh, please. Our introduction is three days. It's in three days. No, please send your help. Oh, 
Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Don't move. Don't move. Let me just lock up and we'll leave this place. Where do we go? How do we get out? Ah, no. Lord, please help us. Help me. Help me, Lord. Ah, Jesus. The car is not even coming on. I think something is wrong with me. Since your daddy left, I've been struggling to read my Bible and to pray. Initially, I can't eat as usual. But later, I just realized there's need for me to ask certain questions for God. Eh? When God knew that my husband going to that church that day, we made pastor to preach something that will make him become worse. Why did God allow him to go? Mommy, but daddy has done worse things than this before. Mommy, have you forgotten when daddy beat you up to the extent that neighbors had to rush you to the hospital? Mommy, have you forgotten the several times that daddy has insulted your parents and sent you packing? Despite this, you still forgive him. Daddy locked you up in the toilet for a whole day. And you still forgave me, mommy. Yet, you persevered, endured, and you forgave him. He made you stop working. And he doesn't even give you money regularly. Your faith has stimulated the faith of, of neighbors, your, the church members, and even your family members. You kept on telling me that the battle over daddy's soul is a good fight. And the devil must not win that battle. <sighs> Mommy, have you forgotten your favorite scripture in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12? That we do not become sluggish, but we imitate those who through faith and patience inherit God's promises. <sighs> Mommy, have you forgotten your favorite song? <laughs> You're always singing that song every time. Mommy, you've forgotten. If in thy path some thorns are found, oh, think, but them on his brow. If grief the sorrow we are has found, it reach our only than thou. Oh, wait, meekly wait and murmur not. Oh, wait, meekly wait a moment not. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, meekly wait a moment. Yes, I know, <laughs> I know that God is faithful, but it's taking too long, it's really taking too long. <laughs> I'm only a human being. <laughs> I've been in this situation for the past 19 years. You grew up to know I'm a loving father. I've suffered so much in this marriage. Mm. Full of pains. Sorrow. <laughs> Anguish. In fact, <laughs> This dress and pain. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Mommy, now I know that this is beyond what I can handle. <sighs> Mommy, what is this? I know I'm, I just I'm just feeling it that the devil is at work. I think I know what to do. Yes, Esther. What? Your mom? Dickiness. Ah. Ah. Oh, 
will have come right away. Well, I'm trying to find out where Peace is. She's stranded somewhere out of town. Ah, Jesus. You know what you'll do now? Call Daddy Gio now. Daddy and Mommy, let them know what exactly what happened. I will come and join you later. My love, come here. Let's go. Eh? Please. No, we can't we can't stay. We can't stay anywhere here. Except the place that's been described for us. There is an hotel over there. Please. Eh? Please come over, please. Eh? Please. Please. Come over here. You know the issue there is that we can't sleep in the bush. Eh? I promise you, nothing will happen. It's just for us to check in and by tomorrow morning we check out. And nothing will happen. It's me, Michael. Michael, brother Michael. Eh? Don't you believe Jesus? I eh, don't you believe Jesus? Father, you see, the only challenge I have now is that no much money with me. I, I didn't think I have much money. Who I would have I would have preferred that we take two rooms. But the little we have here is enough for us to take one room. You will sleep on the bed. When I sleep on the rug, no problem. Eh? Just for your safety. But this thing is against my wish. It's not what I want to do. I know, I know. It's just for this night. Nothing will happen. Hmm? I promise you. Hmm, nothing. You will, you will sleep on your own. I will sleep on my own. Tomorrow morning, we will get out of there. Hmm? Please. For your safety. Everything. I'm fine. Ah. I belong to Please. But Michael, meet Brother David. Mm. He was the prayer secretary when we were in school. Mm. Brother David, please meet Brother Michael, my fiancé. Our introduction is in two days' time. My fiancé. You are welcome, sir. How are you, sir? You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -uh. And what are you doing in this area? We are on our way to visit his twin sister, and our vehicle broke down along the line. See, for about 12 hours we've been trying to fix it. We don't know what happened. And somebody suggested to us that there's a hotel nearby. So we decided to just go no, there and no, pass no, the no, night. No, no. You don't need that. My, my house is close by. If you don't mind, just you can enter the cab, then I'll take you home. My wife is there, we'll take care of you. And then we're having disciple retreat tonight. If you don't mind, join us, we fellowship together. My disciple is the, we, we, we'll be there also. Oh. No, we just fellowship together. Please. Hmm. This girl has escaped again. Despite all my plans to sleep with her tonight. My prayer is that what the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 to 20, will continue in your life. Sister Dennis, I have seen the result of your strengthened and reinforced mighty power in the inner man by the Spirit of God Himself. We have all seen this by the outflow of your life. Please, don't lose this inner strength that God has built in your life over the years. Don't forget that Jesus said if he comes back, will he meet faith on earth? I also want you to remember that Jesus told Peter 
that Satan wanted to have him to sift him like wheat. But he said he should be of good share. He had prayed for him that his faith would not fail. I pray your own faith will not fail. I want you to know that this fight you have been fighting over the years is what the Bible calls the good fight of faith. And the only way, the only means by which you can win this battle is by faith. Added to this faith is confidence and patience. According to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 to 36, which says, Cast not away your confidence, which has a great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might obtain the promise. Sister Dennis, verse 38 of that same Hebrew text says, Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. If you don't draw back, you too will be able to say like Paul at the end that you have fought a good fight of faith. You have kept the faith. God bless you. Lord, Lord Jesus, I'm confused. Oh, Lord. I'm confused. Ah. I don't even know if this brother is genuinely saved. I don't know. Ah. Oh my girl. <laughs> something to my case. You are not the wicked God now. Two months have passed and you have not even spoken to me. I cry every day yet you have not brought any solution. Two months have passed and my husband has still not come home. Ah. When you knew my husband would get angry with you and decide to leave home for about two months. 
why did you allow him to come to church in the first place? Eh? Why did you give me joy that did not last? <sighs> my heart. Oh God. Yeah. My chest. My chest. Ah. Mommy. You started thinking again. God, what is happening to my mom? What is happening to you, mommy? What is this now, mommy? When have you become so entangled with, with anxiety and worries? And total dependency on God has, has started fading away. Ah, mommy, you've handled big and small matters before and God has proven himself so mighty. You even taught me how to depend on God on, on small and big matters. Mommy, what is wrong with you again? But Pastor is even around. I'm going to tell him. Daddy, good evening, sir. God bless you. Daddy, my mom has started worrying again. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't understand. That is exactly why I'm here. <sighs> Sister Denise, the thief cometh not, but to steal. To kill and destroy. But Jesus came that he might give us life and life abundantly. Uh, Sister Dennis, the Lord showed me a revelation concerning you overnight. The weapons of our warfare are not canon, but they are. I'm going to read it to you. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil act of unbelief in departing. From the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is called 
today, lest any of you be hardened through this deceitfulness of sin. This is the word of the Lord. This is a good fight. Don't give up. Keep holding on. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 that we understand that the word was framed by the word of God. Lord Jesus, we have been crying unto you, O Lord God, because of your word. Because of the promises of your word that we have been encountering, yes, that this wedding, Lord, will not hold. Tomorrow is the wedding day. Lord, let your word come to pass. Let me experience your power. Oh, Lord, the power of God. It was by your word that the Israelites, they, they, they passed through the Red Sea. And what happened to the Egyptians? They perish in the Red Sea. Father, God, be your word. I want to experience you. I want to encounter you. very much sir god bless you sir yes sir yes i have bought everything sir thank you very much for you know peace told me everything the cow the food everything the food stuff the caterers we are very grateful sir ah no sir we decided that um, my family members will come, they will take off tomorrow morning, very early tomorrow morning. They should be able to make it to the house before we leave for the church service. Yes, sir. You know your place is about two hours drive from this place. So I think they should still be able to make it to the house before we leave for the church wedding, sir. Because many of them will be coming for the wedding. So we felt your house may not be able to contain every one of them. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. I will soon join you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <sighs> it is Daddy Peace, Elder Brother. Okay. He said there is going to be a family meeting by 4 p.m. today. 
today? Yes. My sister, <laughs> I can't believe that the wedding day is tomorrow.
devil and his courts and we on a daily basis Lord I make up my mind to fight on a daily basis and win every battle this is a good fight don't, don't give up keep holding on victory sure this is a good fight don't give up keep holding on victory sure Sword of truth, which is the word of God, put on. 